Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. So today is the third round in the Foundation Fight Offs. We have Stila going against Mark Jacobs. Who's going to win in the Full Coverage Foundation? I don't know, but let's wait till the end of the day and we will see which one performed the best. Was it the full coverage Stila in the color light or was it Marc Jacobs Remarkable in the color bisque medium? These two are going to go head to head on my face. They're there right now. So be prepared for a wonderful battle. Well, let's get started on today's foundation challenge. So on my right side, we are gonna have the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. This is supposed to be a full coverage and long lasting. On the right side, we are going to have Mark Jacobs, the remarkable. And this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. It does not say if it's supposed to last all day. So we will see which one today that battles it out in the head-to-head -head competition of foundations number three. Which foundation's for you? Let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna prime my face with Scandinavia, the makeup primer. This one is for oil control. I'm gonna use this primer on both sides of my face to give both foundations a nice equal start. So we will let that dry a second and I will enjoy a sip of coffee. Okay, I've never seen a foundation that is like this. It's almost like you push down and the product squeezes to the top. I don't know if you can see that. So, kind of interesting. This beauty blender. Put on this foundation. This has a nice warm tint. Okay, so this has a nice warm tint. The way that that pumped up at first kind of scared me, but um, when you push and this down and the product comes through the middle, it actually gives you about what you need for half your face. So that's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. All right, so I'm gonna pick up my other clean beauty blender. This one's stained in a different way. And we are gonna go in with Mark Gates. Coffee hasn't set in. We are going with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable on this side. And this one has a weird applicator too. So I know you guys have already seen this one all over YouTube. The steel one I hadn't seen yet. Um, but this one's applicator is a little odd also. So we're just going to dab and paint maybe. I don't know. I've seen it on YouTube, but it kind of That's just a weird applicator. I guess the makeup companies have to get more interesting. So they do strange things with their bottles and applicators. All right, so let's see what this one does. This one is a, going on maybe a little brighter than the other. I may have put too much on. So an initial reaction is you probably don't need as much as I swiped on for this product, which is interesting because it's light. Um, I was expecting it to not have as full coverage as it did for as light or as thin as that foundation is. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit. I will be back later today after work to do the final results of the battle number three, the foundation challenge between Stila 
in the color light and Marc Jacobs Remarkable in the color medium bisque. So let's see how today's results go with these two foundations going head to head. Whoop! It is end of day. I just did the blot test and wanted to see what the foundation looked like. 12 hours later, both sides still look remarkably well. Don't know that my eye makeup is holding up as well, but you know, hey, it is 12 hours since I put on the full face. Well, there is a winner between the two going head to head. While on camera, they do look kind of similar. If you get really close up, there is some meltdown. Who melted down? Which one broke apart after 12 hours? Which one? The winner is Remarkable by Marc Jacobs. It didn't break down, it didn't transfer. Unfortunately, this one did. It's coming off my chin, it's separating a little bit. When I did the blot test, it did start coming off of the left-hand side. I will say this is still a good foundation, a strong foundation to use because again, it is 12 hours later and for the fact that the foundation on both sides are holding up as well as they are, I can't say that I would complain about this product. But in the head to head challenge, face to face, neck to neck, Marc Jacobs, oh my gosh, this product is fantastic. The only thing that I find weird or odd about this product is this dropper thing. Um, I'm not, that's just odd to me. Maybe I'm used to a pump, but that is weird. Aside from the dropper, this foundation goes on very thin and it has extreme coverage. So again, I like that because I, from one of my um, challenges before, you heard me say I'd rather put on less product. And this one, you don't use a whole lot and you get full coverage. 12 hours later, it's not separating. And in this Georgia heat and humidity, the fact that it hasn't lifted off my face is a miracle. So Marc Jacobs, thank you so much for creating a product. And I will say as of right now, this may be the leading foundation that I have tested yet so far. So for any woman that has not had a chance to try the Marc Jacobs foundation, remarkable, I suggest you go ahead and purchase this. It is well worth every dollar that you spend. So ladies have fun. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day. I know you have the opportunity to watch many beautiful artists and I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. Please consider subscribing and if you've already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you referred me to a friend. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do want to say thank you again for your time. I know your time is valuable and the fact that you spent it with me means more to me than you will ever know. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much and make it a beautiful day.